What's going on everyone? So welcome to my latest video. This is my review for The Mandalorian Season 3, which came out in 2023, eight episodes long on Disney+. Plus. So The Mandalorian is a show that I'm just going to say right off the bat. It's something I've always been critical of. The whole adventure of the week, um, you know, constant side plotting and everything is something that I was always critical of. But in season one and two, I was just like saying to myself, you know, yeah, the filmmaking's good. So, I mean, that's that's something that keeps it afloat, keeps it entertaining. And the season two finale was something that I was like, oh, that was that was quite good. Um, but I can't lie. Season three broke me. It really did. Um I'm done. I am not going to be watching season four of The Mandalorian, at least not week to week. If I hear that it's great and that it's one of the best things of Star Wars, sure, maybe I'll check it out. But I'm done watching this week to week. I, I after this season three finale, I just, I really don't care. I really don't care about this show. Um, there is more of the same. So if you like the same shtick over and over again, you're going to really dig season three because it's the constant side plotting. Mandalorian is off doing this. We don't see him for a while. So we focus on all these side characters and they try to get you to care about them for 30 minutes. And oh, it's over. And then next character has a side plot. It's like, oh, it's over. And then they try to tie it at the end. And it's like, I really didn't care. Um, character, story, plotting just really were not that engaging. Um, I do think that for me, the adventure of the week plotting is something that really does hamper um, a lot of these story beats that they're trying to go for. But I will also say that it's a very thinly plotted show, at least this season in particular. The other thing I wanted to say, and, you know, I, I got to say it, Andor, I think, also is something that really kind of hampered my enjoyment with The Mandalorian Season 3. Because watching Andor, it was like all my criticisms about Star Wars faded away watching that show. Because Andor was ever-expansive. The world building actually felt like it wasn't limited. Whilst The Mandalorian, yes, it's going location to location, but it still feels very limited and very uninteresting in that regards. But then you watch the Andor and it's like Andor, it's like, wow, this feels ever expansive. It feels epic in many ways, but at the same time personal. It's a very interesting mix. And I'm only bringing that up because I know some people are like, oh, you hate Star Wars. It's not that I hate Star Wars. I'm just very critical of this franchise because it just feels like the same shtick over and over again. So when I see something like Andor that isn't the same shtick over and over again, I have to give praise. But then at the same time, I also then look at The Mandalorian. It's like, so you can do better. You can do better. And I will say season three of The Mandalorian also suffers from a lot of like really cringe inducing dialogue. Um, it feels straight out of like the uh, the Star Wars animated TV shows, which is fine, I suppose. But one of the things about The Mandalorian that I always thought was intentional was that it was trying to bring grownups, teenagers and kids all together. But The Mandalorian season three seems like it's more geared towards children. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, except that me as an adult, and I'm sure many other teenagers, are looking at this third season saying, well, I'm kind of bailing, I suppose. And I feel like that's something that's going to hamper overall season four, because season four, I'm sure that they're going to double down on whatever it is season three was. Um, but I will say in terms of positives of Mandalorian season three, I will say the filmmaking is fine, I suppose. Um, I, I can't lie that Ludwig Aronson's score was pretty forgettable this time around, which was quite surprising. Um, visual effects are fine for the most part. The sound mixing is good. The acting is good. Um, just again, everything else, I'm just so indifferent to, man. I'm so, I'm so over it. I just finished watching season three finale and I'm just like, I'm, I'm over it. I'm done. I'm done with The Mandalorian unless I hear season four is good, in which case maybe I'll watch it. But as of now, adios, The Mandalorian. And for me, The Mandalorian season three, I personally will be giving a... But yeah, guys, let me know your thoughts on The Mandalorian Season 3. Did you like it? Did you not? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And as always, don't forget the subscription, notification bell, follow me down the letterbox, and I will catch you guys later.